and welcome back everybody to number in my seven session. Today we are here with you with another D and D for Doom with Noah, Matthew, Cassie, Come Bucket, and Kibbles. Uh, what? I'm out of frame. Move, where are you? I can't really help that because I'm trying to keep myself in frame too. That's cool. I ain't got enough camera space. Actually, I'll try to back it up and get that. Yeah, back it up. Back that bitch up! Back, back that ass back, up! Back, 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 back it up. Yeah. Back, 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 back that ass up. Back, 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 back that ass up. Okay, you got me? Matthew? I don't think I can. You can get like half of, like there. Like, that's oh, good. perfect. That is a lot better. Now, I could stand in frame. We could still see kibbles over there. We've got a tight cord here. That's always fun. It means everyone's got to walk through here. Be careful with the mic. Alright, so Matthew. Now back to your trilogy of um, murdering everybody, and yes, I said trilogy. I use oak skin to hide myself. Ah. So in other words, y'all have to find me before y'all can attack me. Oak skin does not. Please look up oak skin, damn it! I swear it just gives him armor. No, that's stone yes. skin. Stone skin gives me armor. Yeah, but oak, oak skin may only hide you in a forest. Well, that, I was just told oak skin hides me. That's exactly what I was told. Yeah, okay, okay, so the first thing was shadow mist, which is what he no, was mist using. Skin. Well, mist skin is shadow mist, essentially. Okay. That's what you, told, you, said you called it. That's mist what skin. I'm just. Well, it was mist also. skin because that was the thing I could think of right at the point. Okay. I was thinking of the spell from Skyrim. Oh, yeah. I know what. Yeah, I know what you mean. All right. Stone skin five e. Uh, or he cast it wood skin, right? Oak skin. Oak skin. Oak skin. From what I was told, that hides me. No, it fucking doesn't. That's I'm what you told. I'm pretty sure you just didn't listen. It probably hides you in a forest. You're just wanting all your skin abilities to be super overpowered so nobody will No, you do. were the one that is, I asked you what it is. Bark you. skin. There's no such thing as oak skin. It's you told, bark skin. You told me oak skin. That is what I have written down from okay, the video. Okay, what does me. oak skin say? From what you told me, it just hides me. Nope. Until the spell ends, the skin as rough as bark-like appearance, and with the target's AC, can't be less than 16, regardless of what kind of armor it's wearing. I wrote so down exactly what you told me. There's no such thing as fucking oak skin! Just like there isn't anything about mist skin. There's shadow mist! It's the same. Shadow mist, same thing. Bark skin would be the same as oak skin. Well, I, was, I wrote down exactly what I was told about oak skin. Well, look, All you're right. just... Okay, hang on. Let me let me pull up. Add add hide you in forest, and so add in hey, forest. Camouflage, natural camouflage. Yeah, let's do that. Doesn't make you invisible. It just makes it harder to spot you. Oh no, I don't think it made me invisible. It just says hide you. Yeah, I mean that's still natural hard camouflage. Yeah, just put natural camouflage. Shadow mist. It's a cantrip. With quick can with quick hand gestures, you create a mist infused gloom of yourself. A sphere of dark, inky black mist that appears centered on you and extends outward 10 feet. Anything within the uh, radius of the mist is obscured so bright that it becomes a dim light and dim light becomes nothing. So basically, with enough spell level, you can turn yourself into the mist. But at the basic level of the cantrip, like level 1 cantrip, yep. it basically makes you hard to see. So... Mist skin, mist skin definitely either. does turn you into a mist. Oak skin turns you into oak and gives you a natural camouflage. Okay. Stone skin does the same thing, but with more armor. armor, thicker armor because of oak, because yeah. of stone. The what you told me, you told me it gave me. And all you want to know why? You, you want to know why I armor. said that? You want to know why I said that? Because it because you were in the goddamn woods. On the true, fucking yeah. vampire island. The goddamn woods. Well, Everybody I just wrote down what I was told. Yeah, well, was... you can't fucking listen. All right, well, let's get past this. Matthew, your turn. What did you do? I'm Eat. using fireball. thought you were using oak skin. Well, that was before I knew what it did. I, I, I was doing what I told was t told what it did. All right. Heads or tails, Matt? Uh, heads. Tails. So you used oak skin. That's I was told it did something else. I know it's fine. You um still have the natural camouflage. Um, so we're gonna say that. Do you have multi attack? Because you can do both. I don't have multi attack. Um, 
You still have a movement action and a bonus action. How is movement going to help me? I don't know. You can get move away Went from up him. to me and stab me. Can I just? He just... doesn't have an attack action anymore. No, I don't. I only had one action. You can still move. You can drink a potion. But if you don't move, they know where you are. I'll back up. That's a lot of movement. How much movement can you do? I have 30. Uh, 30 feet. Sure, sure. Well, yeah, that'll work. All right. Now it is Cassie's turn. Can they see me? Or do they have to do a <laughs> They got to roll. They got to roll for perception. perception. Not yeah. touching me! I got a 10. Yay. On what? Looking for me, I guess. Perception. perception. What is your perception? Is your perception? Yes. First thing, first two sets. Nat natural perception Big and booty booty good kid it. perception. Is it the God, perception you're talking about for charisma, which is persuasion? No. <laughs> ew! Ew! I just said that! Uh, the, I just realized what I fucking said was disgusting. It's Look on at wisdom. that twitchy burping. Oh! It's on wisdom. Oh! What? <laughs> oh! Look at that coochie burping. <laughs> when you be fucking her so raw, the fucking queen her sound like burps. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find a rhyme. I was like rapping, and I was like, "Look at, look at that." I was like, "I said like, look at that booty twerking," and then I was like, "Look at that coochie burping," and I went, "Oh!" Like I just immediately just went, "Oh no!" You, uh, what did I fucking uh, say? You regret these decisions. I, I love how bad everything. is what you regret, and not that you were saying it about a cat. No, I just like that was what popped into my head as the next available rhyme. I'm sorry, Kibbles. I gotta take this call. Be right back. So let's stop. This would it be? Oh, there's also passive perception, which mine is ten. Everyone should be ten. Try take this away from me. Give it here. Give me the candy, bitch. All right. So, so did she find me? Add ten to your roll. What'd you roll? She rolled a ten. A ten. So she got a twenty. So she could see. You. I'm gonna use I was 35 so now I'm 65 away from him right yeah I mean every, anyone's gotta get get closer to you unless they have a spell that can reach I'm gonna add guided strike which is plus 10 okay and I'm gonna use my chain wheel. Are you okay, sure the so roll, be able to hit me? Roll. Well, she, first she's got to move. How far can you move? What's your speed? I think she was 30 or 40. 45 feet. So she could get about halfway to you. Almost. So that's like, wait, how many was that? 25? Yeah. So I'm like 30. Well, if he's 30, you know, I can it's, do it. That was four, it's 40 now. Yeah, you're, she's 40 feet. Oh, uh, well then I can't do shit because of the... Whip ain't quite long enough. Well, my whip doesn't have a length. It has a length. Of like 20 feet. I've always been able to hit up to 30. I've been 30 feet, but he's still 40 feet. Yeah, so I can't do shit. Alright, now your turn. Summon the spiders! Bring in the queefing spiders! <laughs> no. I don't think I will. <laughs> I'm gonna do something else. Your king commands you! Uh, I gotta do something else though. Let's okay. check. I'm waiting. So I casted, I haven't cast a giant insect, because I did a short rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're looking at it. The only spells I cast were reverse gravity, gravity, it, it was sick. Like, yeah, then it's subject. Let's bring up the scorpion. Uh, Conjure Fae. Has a reverse gravity? Sir, um, yes, it's, it's, it's yeah, resolved. It's okay. Everybody's coming everybody come back. Should everybody we take damage Is that a float down or a fall down? Uh, float down. Okay. Yeah. As it resolves, it floats down. But as okay. like, yeah. but if like I want to end it quickly, I can have the gr gravity turn back on. Which it wouldn't be as bad because she's also with me. And so is him. I'm gonna use an inspiration. All right. What app is that? Uh, it is D and D. Um, I'll show you after this. So okay. we're going back to spells. We're gonna go Conjure Fay. I'm gonna re-roll. 
Ow, my 18. leg. He got it. 18 plus 9. Ah, oh, shit. Grab again. Fuck. Quick, punch his leg. Okay. You summon a fake creature challenge rating 6 or lower, so I have to roll a 6-sided die. As you do. Does it say the roll that, or, you just, or is it like based off the spell slot you have it in? No, it's a form of a challenge rating 6 or lower. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 because whatever you roll is what it turns into. So. Right. Okay, yeah, all right. When you cast a spell using a cell spell slot of 7th or higher, the challenge rating is... Uh, okay, so it's increased one by it's it's increased one level by each level beyond the spell slot, and this is a six level spell slot, so I can roll beyond six, so up to twelve, but it only goes up to six. All right, goes up okay. to. Contrafey goes up to it goes up to eight, so I can basically roll an eight-sided die and choose whatever I like, or choose whatever it lands on. I thought I was about to say, is it whatever you land on or whatever you like? Giant ape. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. So that spawns next to you, right? Yeah. That is apparently an ape. It looks like a big ass ape. Armor class seventeen. Hit points one hundred and fifty five. <laughs> Fun man. You, you're saying this to someone like kills one thing that had more with just a sword, not able to use my magic. And you're saying this while I did two hundred damage to you. Okay. Two, plus He's going to throw a rock at you. How far can he throw? Uh, he can throw a hundred feet. Oh, can he you're see within me? range. Can he see me? Roll four passive perception for the ape. Uh, the ape's passive ape perception. Ape you. His ape's, ape's passive perception is 14. Roll d20. Yep. Pretty sure he'll pass this. <laughs> yeah. 14, yep. Exact. That's a 28. Exact, yep. Okay. He, he doesn't just know where you are. He so sees he's going your fucking to roll, eyes. He's going to roll a d20 to the natural hit. 17 plus 9, so that's 26. Does he have to break the armor class? I don't know. What's your armor class? 18. Then yeah, it breaks it too. Alright, so he's going to hit 3d10 plus 6 of bludgeoning damage. Why can't I jump out the way? Because you don't get a reaction roll on everything. Monkey throw! Monkey do 3. Monkey do 11. Monkey do 21. Plus... Plus 9. So... That's 30. 30. So why don't 30 I get, damage to your face. So why don't I get a reaction roll while I'm watching a boulder get slung at my face? Because you don't get a reaction roll on everything you do. That is actually an ability that you normally have to use. You just always have the miss. Oh, he also has multi-attack. So here comes the rock again. And that is what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. You have the option to take multi-attack, too. Plus, he got hit no, the first time, so he doesn't Maybe. need to make a perception check. He got hit yeah, the he first time. Have to make the okay, so now Once he just has to... Once you pass a perception to... check, you don't have to do it again. So now he three. just has to actually see if he can throw the rock, which he got a nine, nine plus nine, that's 18. Uh, that just barely breaks the armor class. Okay, that hits. So All right. can I jump out the way this time? No! You can't. Do you have a skill that says you can? Do, do you have evade? Do you have dodge? Any of them. I, I let you use dodge for that one fight because it was an honor fight. Right. Uh, that, that would, that would, I use the tropical words to give him a. So he'll have to roll. Tropical words? A tropical, a tropical word. Enemy attacks can make reaction roll to give disadvantage to enemy attacks. If attack misses, gain advantage next turn, one per rest. Okay, you gain advantage <laughs> against it. That means, like, dark vision or. I give disadvantage. Resistance of rock, I don't think, is one of them. I give disadvantage. They get disadvantage. I can't find that single thing. On <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> Where is that oh, one at? Right there. Okay. So that's... that's a tropic word. That's etropic. 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 Do you want me to look it up? No. Enemy... Because um, I don't know who gave him this information on this one. It's not... Enemy attacks can make reaction roll to give disadvantage. It's not word. It's ward. You're right. Yep. So that's supposed to be an A. How do you um, use... In, okay, so what is Entropic Ward? Entropic Ward is a six-level spell. And no, this one's a ability. Yep. Eldritch ability. 
Okay, it does... Okay, Entropic Ward does actually give a disadvantage onto the next roll, but since this is the second time, the next roll doesn't come. Because I already used my first attack by giving Monkey Throwing Rock. But isn't that the spell form of it? No. That's an action. Huh, but, th but this right here is a, is a ability given by the Fiend. It, the same executor says gives disadvantage on give disadvantage on on um, enemy attack. If the attack misses, they gain advantage on the next attack. The okay. player gains advantage. Okay. So it's well, it's, it's a reaction in a way. Well, it's hitting, so that means that he gains an advantage. I don't gain a disadvantage then. No, you you would uh you would roll for your um you would roll to break the AC one more time, and then if you fail, well, the I AC, already broke the AC. I know, because if you miss, now you roll again. You're gonna take the lower number, and then if you miss, I didn't miss. You're gonna roll again. You get disadvantage, and then if you miss, okay. he gets advantage on the next one. If you so don't, so what do miss, I roll for disadvantage? I uh, just a, you roll the same number again. Five. All right, so you're gonna take the five over the other number because it's okay. lower. Because this. But it's still a plus nine, so it's fourteen. It doesn't break his armor class. No, it doesn't break his armor class. That means you miss this time. It means he has advantage on the next attack. Okay. That's all that means. All right, fair enough. Uh, that's just all that means. Okay. But that right there means even though he gets advantage, doesn't mean he gets to do any extra damage. <sighs> now okay, basically Entropic Ward is a 6 level spell that magically wards yourself in an attack to turn an enemy's failed strike or disadvantage into good luck for yourself, which gives you an advantage. So that's what Entropic Ward means. Okay. Yeah, you got it right. You got it right. Yeah. But this is the thing, though. His is a ability because it's granted by the Fiend. Actually, his is by Fiend. by Eldritch. Yes, by Eldritch. Eldritch. Yeah, Eldritch. his is an ability because it's granted by the Fiend. It's not an actual spell that he yeah. casts. That, that's weird how that works. Well, no, it's, also it's not really too. weird. It's more of like that's his form of dodge. Yes. Yeah, so. I don't I, remember how often he can use that, though. Uh, it was one for a short rest. Okay. I think. Uh, well, let's just hit him for 30. Next turn, one per rest. I can only use it once, one per rest. Okay, one per rest. Brother Charlie, does it count as using a attack point by healing myself with a potion? No, that's your bonus action. Very good. Is, doesn't it heal me full? Charlie? Yes. Okay. I will use that, and then I will use Fireball on... I just splash some water in my face. On, I say between Casey and what's your character's name? Oof. 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 Okay. Because yeah. I can't. I don't remember. Because one's Oof, one's Oof. Yeah. Right. Well, so Oof this, is pronounced. Well, his, my name character's name is O U P H E. Well, this is what I'm doing right now. I just used a health potion, and I'm about to shoot a fireball between both of y'all. Between. Can you split it. Huh. Can you split that fireball? Uh, he, could split the he could split the distance and hit y'all both with the AOE. Okay. But he has to roll for his um uh dexterity, you said. Yeah, dexterity, acrobatics. I don't have acrobatics, so I, I just do plus five. Plus five, yeah. How do you spell that, um, Noah? The dropping ward? Yeah. Uh, Entropic Ward E N T O A N T R O A N T R O E N T R O P I C Ward W A R D. Okay, I just put word instead of ward. Yeah, that's the only thing. Charlie, pay attention to your cat. You want ward? Don't call her a whore. She a kitty cat. So that is from it's the a, great old one. Yeah. Is what it's from. Ah, shit. Fucking doesn't zoom in the way you want it to. So it won't let you zoom in? Or it just won't let you zoom in at all? What are you listening to? I have watching 
Mm. Right, it will let me zoom in, that's just weird how it works. I'm trying to... Yeah, okay, so, yeah. So yeah, it's not listed as a spell here. Alright, so what were you doing? Uh, shoot, I used a health potion for my bonus, and now I'm shooting a fireball between both of them. Wait, shouldn't that hurt all three of them, then? What's the range on that? 30 feet? Uh, yeah, 30 feet for the like, AoE, and to shoot it, mm -hmm. I, Cassie is, I can what, shoot 40 it. feet away from me. I can shoot it 150 feet. Cassie moved 25 feet, so that there means so that. I'm still that was only about 25 feet, so yeah. Okay. That would hurt all three. So do I, what do I roll first, you, dexterity? First you roll your dexterity to see if you can hit there, then you roll your cast. I rolled a 3 plus a 5, and I'll use my thingy on the back, so that's 3. You've already added 10 on something once. I did? Yes. What? You added... I haven't attacked yet. You added I've 10 to one of your, um... Something. I don't think I... No, added. what did he add his 10 to? Of the, the, the advantage? The advantage that he had? No, not not the ward, the other thing. His, uh... What's, what you what's the ability this? called, Matt? The... Dark One's Luck. I'm pretty sure I used that last time. Uh, I'm pretty sure you've used that in this fight already. Dark Lung's what? Dark, Dark One's Luck. luck. Have I add 10 to any roll? Yeah. Pretty it sure adds you. 10 to the initiative. To any roll? Yeah. Not just to initiative, any roll with, the, with uh, the Fiend ability. How many abilities can your Fiend grant you in one move? Um, well, he's got two Be packs. He's got a fiend, He's got a pack to the Fiend and a pack with the Great Old One. Which I did the pack to the old one, which was that thing that gave you the disability. The okay, so you're going to get a plus 10. You can either get a plus D10, or you can get a plus... No, it just straight it, adds it's 10. It's just straight Okay, adds well, what are you doing? Um, um, you're see, doing a so, fireball. Yeah, but no, no, that's what I'm trying, trying to ask. Has he already used that? I'm pretty sure he has. I feel like he has. What, the advantage? You, yeah, you use the... Uh, um, but what did I use lock. it on? I haven't used it on anything. I've only done, like, two things, which was block his thing, which I know I didn't use it on that. And then I got an 18, no, a 19 on the miskin. Isn't that the only two things I've done? You added it to to the gravity. I don't have gravity. No, whenever he did when gravity. When I did gravity, you added, you added it plus to that, 10. so you don't have the plus 10. Are you sure? Because I yes, got plus no. 5. You added the plus 10 because you, you uh, you no, only rolled like 20. 10. No, I, not, I did not 20. Did he not 20? He not 20 on that, yeah. Oh, then maybe it wasn't that. Maybe it was the mosquitoes then. I still took full dam half damage for Yeah, you still took half damage. That's because but that's because of on a saving throw. Yeah, you added yeah. to the saving throw. Yeah, I got a saving throw, which was over 15. I didn't get it. I didn't get 19 or 20. No, you, you used, used, the, you used the 15 because it was going to be a fail throw. You needed a constitution save that was going to be above 20, that was going to be above 18. So you added plus 10 to make it 25, so you could be above 18. That way you could take half damage. Okay. So what am I doing? You uh, you rolled like a 2 for fireball on your decks. I rolled a 3, I think. Oh, still, that's too low to actually hit the correct spot. I mean, even, well, it's then, he close. Even, even if he used the plus 10 and the luck, he would on most make about 18, 16. That would be 18. Yeah, it would have done a minimum amount of damage. It would have still that been was, cast. That was for aiming. Well, that, that, that's for aiming because he's trying to split the difference. That's not just to shoot it. Oh, well. That, that, that's then. for actually. The actual fucking shoot it. You may be screwed on that, too. Um, so, but, I'm going to say you sh you shoot far. So, you're going to shoot past Noah. He's still going to be within radius, but barely. He'll take half damage. Okay, so now i got to shoot on cast? Yeah, now you got to roll cast. for cast. Okay, so he used the... He used the I didn't hit. Wait, six. You rolled a seven. six plus your was it? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got twelve. Nope. Yeah. So he rolled a sixteen on me. He aimed at me. He missed casting. Yeah, it didn't even cast. So oh, it didn't even cast. No, it didn't cast. Out, he failed the cast. Oh, okay. All right. So well, it's Casey's turn now. Now it's Cassie's turn. Cassie, we're we're back. I know we spent thirty minutes in there arguing over. Um, who well, that's D and D for you. Uh, I have a question. When you actually want to take it seriously, who it gets are we fucking. Attacking? Him. Matthew, or I mean, yeah, you can attack whoever you want. You can attack whoever you want. Why are we attacking each other? Because there's a to. shadow hopping between each other's bodies. We have body snatchers. He has. He's, curr he's currently snatched. 
Lord Voldemort has stolen his body, and now you gotta it free him from it. Yeah, kill Moldy Ward. Yeah, it, kill Moldy Ward. It does not work that way. Charlie, wouldn't it jump? Wouldn't he jump out my He's body? a Death Eater. Somebody He's stuck a horror crux up his ass. Yeah. It does work that way, kind of. There you go. There's <laughs> you're trying, you're trying to stop War, uh, Lord Moldy uh, Moldy Ward. Charlie, yeah, you seen? So who Moldy. has the shadow? Charlie, wouldn't it have jumped out by now? Because I almost died already. Nope. Am I be, thirty feet five from him? Huh? I had to use I had five you health. I used the health paid. potion. I know you didn't know. Am I Charles! thirty paces from him? How far is she? From no, him? you haven't moved forward. Actually, she might forward she might be able 30. to cure it from me. Sure, now you are. She I'm might be able 30. to cure it. She might be able to cure it from me. Nope. I'm gonna huh? use my chain whip and I'm gonna use guided strike, which adds plus ten. <sighs> Can I dodge this one? Nope. Where are you gonna? Every time. They don't get a dodge either. I mean, you've done used your dodge. I got ability. seventeen. I'm going humble. For What's your AC? That was for initiative, not 18. for hitting. Wait, no, that's, that's, that's your AC because you already have it. Yeah, AC. I got seventeen. Top of my armor. Yeah. I used oak skin the first turn, so. Where's the skin? Where's the skin? It doesn't add any. No, I mean I'm at stone skin, not oak skin. That, which is five. I got eighteen. So eighteen, twenty-three. Armor class. You roll what? For seventeen. Nine. Right, you add ten to that. No, because that's it's add ten to your damage. Yeah. So you don't break the AC. So is I'm not ever gonna be able to break the AC. How long does that skin? I mean, soul skin last? I have no clue. One turn. Oh, it's already gone. So no, oh, you have okay. eighteen. Well, she still doesn't break the armor class. All right, what's your strength modifier? Two, so that makes it nineteen. Okay, she does. Oh my God. All right. And then it's a one d six. Just to show how powerful this team is, he's literally coming up with every single possible way to not get his shit smacked out of his body. Actually, he legit just said we don't die, so I'm, I really don't care. No, so when he hit zero, 11. which isn't death, zero is incapacitate. Oh, well, I want to knock him Take 11. the fuck out. Eleven. Which I want to knock 15. him out so I can steal his gold while he's knocked out. Or I can just eat his fingers. I have my gold in a different dimension. <sighs> I want to eat his it's fingers. Great, I work with a bunch of cannibals. No, I am a cannibal. My character legit is a cannibal. Yes, but he's not a, a gnome, so it's not cannibalism. You're just eating. I literally dragon. went into the circle of the swamp where they were like, no, don't go there. And my character was like, I'm going to go there. Talk with the mushrooms. The mushrooms said, kill all your friends and family. I did that. Ate them. Now I have their power. Yes, but he's not a dwarf, so it's not cannibalism. Doesn't matter. It's a lot more to eat. He tastes like chicken. You're just eating. How do you know that? Yeah, well, because you are related to gator, and gator tastes like chicken that's cooked in fish oil. Have you been chewing on me in the while well, I was resting? Yes, I have. <laughs> no wonder my big toe disappeared. Yeah. No, I thought it fell off from frostbite. I, I, yeah, well. How would frostbite affect an ice dragon? I don't know. You oh. Stupid. You're, you're the ice dragon. All right, here comes the big one. You guys have been waiting for it. Yay. Someone please kill him. I've Put him out of his misery. I got try. 52 health now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Put him down. Move on. Put him down. Okay, so Make him I breathe have, his own feces. I have casted Insect Play, Concert, Concert Fay, which my my Malke is still here. Yeah, it is. Malke gonna throw... Actually, no, I still have something to do. I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna Polymorph. Ooh. Polymorph. The spell transforms a creature that you can see within range to a new form. An unwilling creature must take a wisdom saving throw to avoid the effect. But I'm going to chat, cast Polymorph on my Fae, which is going to turn from a monkey into a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Alright. Alright, I'm, I'm just a reminder here, I'm 65 feet away. 12 plus 9? 21? Yeah, he gets it. <laughs> to be honest, I think it... Actually, I don't know the moves of him. Of your thing. Oh, uh, I'm about to find it. I don't even know Noah's normal moves. I am a druid. I command the fuck you. Noah, are you sure that's gonna be a to... magical finger? It's not like that. Are you sure it's gonna magical be a... finger? Here okay, let me grab. Why don't you read that real quick? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, those hit points. <laughs> Does that pull out? Yeah. You twist it. Okay. okay. So, what's his farthest attack range? 
Well, he can move 50 feet at any turn. <laughs> Monkey, go from... <laughs> it's, almost like, it's almost like his boss he had. His boss? The one that could jump across the entire arena. Oh, yeah. Yup. <laughs> Gosh, darn this crap. <laughs> No, that charisma is nice and low, though. Yeah, because it's a dino! Not real charismatic, is he? No, he's not doing a tap dance routine! Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that ain't so bad. What's the strongest attack? I haven't looked at it yet. Because uh, I want bite. to in bite? Bite. Okay, how far does it need to be before I can bite it? Uh, 10 feet reach. And and it can move 50 feet? And I'm 50. And that'll be 15. It can move 50, yeah. Okay, so and I'm going to move towards him. He was ten. He was 5 feet was closer than the, than Noah, though. Yep. I thought he's. And that's right one action. And it, it has multi attacks, so it has two feet. actions. Okay, it has but he never said it moved. That's where you set him. Yep, yeah, this, tower, this can make two attacks. It can make a bite or a swing with its tail. Okay, that's okay. why you were mad guys. Or at least goes down to zero, which Well, is this fun. is the thing. You said it spawned with him. He hasn't been moved since you set him down. I mean, yeah, spawned so within what? five feet of him. That's not what you said. You I said can't you spawn said him on top of his fucking dick. You can't really do that, no. Okay, bite! Plus ten to hit. I'll go ahead and get my calculator. He gets a break my armor. Twenty-five! Was that the AC? Yeah, that's to hit. So the AC yeah. check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think you broke it. Okay. Four D twelve. Did you roll a twenty or when did you roll? D twenty. You roll no, what did you roll? Like I rolled a fifteen plus okay. D plus ten to hit. Okay. So it wasn't that twenty. That's what no. I'm trying to make sure of. No. And this is as regular uh so he has to make a D C of seventeen. After I roll my damage, which I need a D12. Um, on what skill, though? Uh, DC, so... Constitution save. Constitution? It says which, uh... Oh, no, it's grappled, so it'd have to be, uh, dexterity. Well, it says it on there. Uh, would that be sleight of hand, stealth, acrobatics? It is grappled, which means... Acrobatics? D escape is DC 17. So dexterity or constitution roll of 17. Okay, so it says dex or cotton. Though. Yeah, DC. Uh, dex so do I roll? Well, that's not what DC stands for. What does DC stand for? That's for dice um, count. Here, let, let me see that. Three three I'm confused. It does only say DC. Well, that is annoying. You can check grapple to see what that says. Um... Yeah, I'm going to Google that real quick while you roll your damage. Off uh, oh. Don't I get to roll something? After the damage. Okay. Oh, uh, I need a D12. This is a D12. So. I'm going to count on your calculator. That's fine. What's your life total at? Uh, 52. And I have death warding on. Okay. So what? grapple is a DC on strength. Okay. You have to break a strength of 17. Yeah, strength? Yeah. Mm hmm. I didn't break it. Okay. He takes 34 damage. 34. B. 28. Now, he has bite again, which is his multi attack. Uh huh. Does it get to bite twice or is it, is it bite the tail swing? It can bite twice or it can bite then tail swing. It can swing the oh, tail. Well, sometimes bite. the multi attack tells you. Okay, you uh, yeah, the Tyrannosaurus can make two attacks one with its bite and one with its tail. It can't make both attacks against the same target. So, it's going to spit them out and swap them with its tail. Can't attack both with that same target. 
It can't. At- it can't make both attacks against the same target. Yeah, so both attacks. Okay. So it can't. It can't attack him twice. So it could either do bite or tail swing. That's the way it is. If it was surrounded by enemies, then it could bite one and tail swing another. Isn't it holding me right now? Uh, yeah. If you failed that grapple, yes. Yeah. It did. Which yeah. means you're. Um, you I guess get a disadvantage it'll. I guess it'll take. Uh, yeah, you have a disadvantage. I guess it'll just take one d twelve. Of what? Uh, uh, just a regular, like it just it chomps down a little harder. You still have to make uh, the armor You already rolled the damage Yeah, board. okay. Well, that is multi-move was just to move and then bite. So yeah. then he stuck, you're stuck in his teeth. Yeah. And he took oh. 30 damage, 34 damage. Is that it? Yeah. Something like that. Oh, okay. All right, now it is. Now I already cast a polymorph. Man, turn. Uh, I turned a gorilla into a dinosaur. I would like to shoot a fireball between. Oh, his you could practically what just hit him and hit all of them at the same time. Like, you know you're in his teeth, so you're you're literally on top of him pretty much. Yeah, but I would shoot a fireball between Casey, whatever his whatever the monkey is now, and hit dinosaurs. him directly. Oh, it you're is dinosaurs. By the way, I'm at eighty three. So okay, like health. Yeah. So roll for Dex. I don't hit it. I right. hit one. Hit oh! Two. So in other words, I'm hurting Casey, his thing, and me. Yeah, you're practically just shooting the dinosaur no, right like in the face. No, like you're just his thing now. Pretty much. No. You're within 30 feet thing. of it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, um, all right, now roll the cast. Oh. Uh, that, that was the cat. That was no, the that cast. Was Dex. That was the cast. No, I didn't, that was dexterity because you was trying to split the difference. Yeah. No, it wasn't. I was going no, to say No, he, he, he rolled dexterity to try to get out of the mouth. And he rolled in at one, no, so he's no, inside. No, no, he, he was talking about shooting the fireball in no, the middle. No, I said I'm shooting him. No, you have one. to do with aiming. That that has to go with... Oh, if, he, if he's targeting on one person, he does. If he's trying to split the difference, then he will. Okay. Wait, so this confuses me. What? It says, when a creature within 30 feet makes an attack roll, you may add t- plus 10 to the roll before DM tells if it's hit or miss. Why would I want to add plus 10 to the creature's... Attack on me. That could also no. That's not on you. That's no, on anything. On anything. You can add plus ten to his dinosaur attacking Matthew. Uh-huh. So uh, before I say it hits or miss, so so what what am am that so you can kill him. What am I rolling? Well, if if you're only targeting Noah, then you just rolled your cast as it was, which means you practically didn't shoot it at all. Okay, so I'm done. Yeah. Weird. Unless you want to do something else. Is yeah, multi attack. Uh, you can't move, so I guess you can't do that. Um, you drink a potion. Oh, I do that. I want to dice to this. I don't so. know. I mean, you could use any of your equipment. I can? Yeah, yeah. like say you have matches or something. Do you have any health potions left? I don't know. Can I grab the Demog Sphere and turn it into a blade? You could, yes. Well, yeah. aiming it at his creature's chest. You can't attack with it this turn. I, won't be, I won't be attacking. I'll be grabbing it. It'll yeah. be growing into the dagger itself. No. Yeah, it wouldn't It wouldn't, It wouldn't. wouldn't hit him. It would, you yeah, would just grab it, it and just, it transform. You'll just grab it and transform it. Hey. All right. Hey. And what are you turning it into? I would. I was. If I could have done that, I was gonna turn into like a sword. I mean, so. you can hold it and cast spells at the same time and use them both. Oh no! I was planning on like holding it, it grows and hits something. No, like, you couldn't. You couldn't do that. Yeah, you could then grab then. it and it would grow and it would turn to what's supposed I'm to. I'm done then. All right. My go. Cassie's go. It's uh, Cassie. Yeah. Cassie. So. Give plus ten to me. I want to end his life. I'm gonna put plus. Yeah. You do that on no. their turn. I do that turn. on your turn, yeah. Whenever you make a attack or whenever your di- dinosaur makes an attack. You know, you and your dinosaur both get attacks. Yeah. We can. Because y'all are separate entities. Or I could just polymorph it into a Tarrasque. <laughs> so I'm going to use <laughs> Can you do okay. that? No, that I already used polymorph. Where I can attack yeah, twice. But you can turn it into okay. a Tarrasque? Uh, if I roll a nat 20, yeah. Yeah. That's nice. I could polymorph um, it into anything. I could polymorph it into a fucking marshmallow if I want. Uh, I mean, I, you'd I have to roll that. a nat one to do that one now. <laughs> no, it would just be a tiny nice slime. Meal. Squirt, 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 squirt. Ooze. <laughs> or a caterpillar. It'd be funny. He tried as a morph. It turns into marshmallow. Me, marshmallow. <laughs> it has to be a living creature. Marshmallows. So, are living. a marshmallow with legs. No. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use He's my short sword. Life. Short sword? Short sword. Okay. And I can attack twice. Short sword. You get a break. Short sword. Short sword. I got 12 plus what? Strength? Yeah. Yeah. So that's 14. Miss. 
I got armor class of 18. Alright, well she still gets the second attack because yeah, she used attack. Uh, war yeah, priest. No. She gets attack again with the stabby stab. Stabby stab the bitch. Stabby stab. Hey look at it. that, 18. Stabby okay, baby. Buddy. Okay buddy. I'm going to transform. It's your turn now. I'm going to polymorph the cat into a dinosaur. <laughs> She's like, please don't bring me into this. <laughs> Look at those eyes of despair. It's like, I am right, so, so sick of this. Is it his Noah's yeah. cap now? Yep. Yeah. Alright, Cassie. Off, new. It's time. It's time to rape him. I mean, beat him. Well, Same thing. Same thing. You have to make the attack before right. I can add it. So, I just thought about after something. it's approved and you're attacking, then I add Charlie, I still got Death Ward. <laughs> he still has death war? Yeah. For like the whole entire battle? Until it reaches zero. Once he hits zero, instead of hitting zero, he hits one instead. Okay, well, he reaches one instead, but once he hits one, we can just kill him again, right? Yes, it's zero, and which will go back up to one. But if you land him directly on one, he still has death ward. That's fine. I'm gonna summon... But yes, you could. Alright, I'm gonna do plant growth. And we're gonna do entrapment. It's like using a no. Wait, well, uh, Casey's right there beside me. Uh, as long as long as long as your dinosaur, uh, uh. No, you know you can't put it on him because he's too far. Shut up for a It goes. Does he on, count as a creature? It goes on he his as a creature. creature. Everyone does. So okay, whenever cool. his creature. Hits whenever his dinosaur hits. Uh -huh. he can, before you say if it hits or misses, like right whenever it approves that he shoots it, it adds plus ten ten. Yeah, I know that. Wait, early. I count as a creature. Technically, yes. Then why have you not? I have multiple. Creatures okay, what's his life total at? What's his life total at? Uh, I don't know if he keeps up with that. Twenty-eight. Yep. I thought I'd take a break. That's why I made you fight him. <laughs> <laughs> so much time to call it. Okay. This is not even five. Yeah, it's five minutes away from five. I know. It ain't, it ain't time to call it. Okay, so here's what uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna summon Gaius. G E A S, which I'm just gonna call Gas. It allows a magical command to a creature that I see within range. I see him. Okay. What's within range then? Yeah. What's the range? Sixty feet. Okay. Yeah. Uh. I'm 65 feet, because he was 5 feet behind his monster. Move up right. 5 feet, and then you're with us. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to move up 10 feet, just to make sure. Just move and kill me already. <laughs> I'm going to use Gaius, which is going to allow... It's basically going to have you inhale some form of toxic that's going to allow me to control you. Okay. You take 5d10 of psychic damage for each command that I make you do. And I can only make you do a command once a day. And it lasts for 30 days. A day? Yeah. What do they expect you to do? Fight a dragon for like 20 years? Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you drop your weapon. What weapon? I'm not holding it. The spear? The dagger? The, did you draw that or no. not? No. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna you have don't you. have a staff. You have an amulet, don't okay. you? Okay. Have him okay, well then eyes. take that off and throw it to the ground. Okay. Okay, now you take 5d10 of psychic damage. Okay. Actually, have I really had an amulet? If the creature can understand you, you amulet, okay, you, you must, hey, you must, uh, you must, uh, you must make a wisdom throw. Uh, wisdom. Mm -hmm. wisdom above 15. Uh, 20. Uh, what's my wisdom at? Th plus 3? Yeah. Oh, is this a saving throw, technically? Mm, yes. Then I get plus 8, then. Okay. I got over 20. Okay. So you don't take psychic damage, but you do drop your amulet, so yeah. I can't use my magic. Right. Okay. And your monster still gets two attacks. Right. So he's going to do something that'll take out twenty-eight, eight till so you'll kill me. Well, and then you could do it again. Well, the max that the dino can do uh, in one hit that can kill you is bite. Which is 33s. But and then you max. add plus 10 to it. Plus 10, right, yeah. Okay. So, uh, no, so plus I'm gonna 10 bite is again. Not for damage, it's, for eight, it's for the armor class hit. So it's I'm gonna bite the, again. No, it's for the attack. Yeah, that's what you said, Charlie. It was for the attack. It's right here. For the attack. 
Uh, 29, 19, plus, plus 10. 10. Yeah, that breaks. Nine to the plus. attack. Yep. Alright. Uh, 4d12 plus 7. And since he's already inside and he hasn't escaped yet, he takes the 4d12 plus right. 7 fully. Yeah. So, the get your get the calculator ready. Mm -hmm. it's, it's over 20. 3. Okay. 4. 6. 4. Plus 7. I think that's over 28, isn't it? 24. Was that plus the attack? Plus 10. Yeah, 34. Plus okay, right, 34. So, I have he's, one life left. Yeah, he's at one life. And you get another attack, don't you? Yep. Yeah, because now it's the dinosaur turn, ain't it? Oh, well, that the was the that two. was his bite. He gets one more attack. No, no, he can't attack. The dinosaur can't attack you twice. He can attack two different enemies in oh. one turn, but not the same enemy twice. Okay. He can't use bite and um, tell. And I already used my gas uh, for the uh, first day. It's yeah. thirty days. So, and the next day I can use it again, and he can take five ten well, how second damage. Is it really gonna pass? Or until another I day? put it on another creature. Is it really gonna pass another day? No, time actually doesn't necessarily fly here. Like, the time here, there is no days. There's only, like, minutes and hours. And then the clock but resets I guess, once I choose another target. Yeah. So, technically, because it counts the days, if it's actually counting by the position of the So, it was basically for me count. to get you to drop your weapon or drop your form of weapon. Uh, so, question, though, question, though. So, you said it says it goes by days. Is it actually is it keeping track of the sun and moon, or is it actually based off time? Time. Time. Okay, so that will pass. If it's based off like where the actual position of Sun and Moon is, like some rituals are, no, 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 then no, no. that this will is never the actual pass. duration of time. Okay. You place a magical command on a creature that you see within range, forcing it to carry out some services or refrain from some action or curse of uh, activity as you decide. If the creature can understand you, which he can, it must succeed in a wisdom saving throw or become charmed by you through the duration, which he's charmed. Okay. Uh, while the, well, no, he's not charmed. I'm not charmed. Uh, while it, the creature is charmed, it takes 5d10 of psychic damage each time you directly make it do something. Um, but no more than once each day, a creature that can't understand you is unaffected by the spell. So I char so I hypnotized him, made him do one thing, he's not charmed, he takes no psychic damage, and basically he was just like... And then he goes, why the fuck I did that? And that was basically what happened. Hmm. All right. Well, so, but, but also, well, should, you you issue, the... should you issue a suicidal command or a command that inevitably leads to its death, uh -huh. the spell ends. Why um, don't you just do that? Yeah. Like, just get me to... Well, no, the spell immediately so. ends. Like, you won't do it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but this, then you would have been able to put the spell back on me on your next turn, wouldn't it? And when you cast a spell with a spell slot of 7th or 8th or higher, which this is a 7th level spell... Uh, it goes up. Uh, it goes up one year, so essentially, yeah, I can control you for a year. But you saved yourself, and I didn't target someone so, else. Who because could. it's uh, okay. counting passage of time in yeah. here, um, it uh, will expire. But the if it tracks sun and moon like rituals, like some rituals do, then that will those will never expire because so, the sun. No, it's the actual passage duration of time itself. Yeah. So will he be able to, So will he be able to attack again or no? No, I no, I, turn, I made you yeah. do something and you f don't know why you did it, and then it won't work again. How so, much did the demonic sphere do? Um, it depends you, on which weapon. Because you is. said that it was it's like one d six when it was the load. All right, short turn sword, off. Yeah. Don't do death ward next time. Well, on him. Well, that was be before we were in it. That was like yeah. at the beginning of the game. Okay. I should so that's why he was still there. Either. But all right. Um. So you said the demonic sphere does one d eight? No, it depends on what weapon you turn it into. Well, it's gonna be a dagger. There's a dagger and it's a d four. A d four. That's what that's the dagger damage. Uh, my both my daggers are one d eight. Actually, my fire and ice dagger, which I enchanted, does one d eight, and yeah. my heart of the marsh and the heart of sand do one d ten. And this is a legendary <laughs> item. Shouldn't it be at least more damage than the? Regular daggers? No, granted, in. this is from D and D that I based off of. Hold on, I'm pretty sure a dagger does one d four damage, piercing. Well, both of my daggers do one d eight. Okay, here that is more than the d four. Here's the thing: the daggers. Okay, how about this? Everything that I gave you uh, works within 
my universe in I a see. specific way. I mean, However, so. everything that works outside of my universe is returned to normality. These are the daggers which I got from his campaign. The fire and dagger and ice dagger which I enchanted. Right. Did I give you fire and ice? Yes, I went to a... You gave me two regular daggers, which both of them already had 1d8 damage. You gave me two daggers with 1d8 damage. Were they... No, regular daggers, but then I went to a uh, someone and got one chance with the fire and one chance with the ice. Well, that's why they did, That's why they do D8. Then. There was something special about them. Before I, don't remember before what I did the ice thing, the fire thing, I had 1d8 on them. Well, then you had it wrong, because it says it right here, dagger, 1d4. Piercing. You're the one that told me 1d4. There, there means that there was a special thing about it. What special thing for I regular dead? now. He's talking about the heart of the marsh. The the legend- it's because it had the blue stuff on it, didn't it? No, I never put that stuff on well, it. Then I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Any If you make a dagger out, it will do 1d4 plus fire. Oh, Demon good fire. lord. Does demon That's fire why change we anything? should never really come up with stuff on our own off the top of our heads for later uh, sessions. A lot because if we say, like, oh, you. this sword allows you to do 100% armor retention, and then we go into the next session, and it's a completely different world, and we still have that sword, and there's actually nothing to reference it off of, then it gets complicated. I know. Well, he says I gave him these daggers, which means I gave them, for, gave them to him for a reason, which means I have no idea what I gave them to him for, but now they're enchanted, and that's why they do D8 these plus rough, fire and these, ice. I got these when we were making our, my character. I mean, I didn't give them to you. Yeah, you did. No? Because you, you went to the webs thing, told me which weapon to get, and I chose daggers because I was doing stealthy. Well, I'm looking at it right here. It says, uh, it says 1D4. Oh, no, then. And it, I can see I didn't try erasing it. If it's whenever you create your character, you have the blue stuff on I know that because all of our weapons got blue stuff on it. That was and good. that's why it became D8. No, because we didn't have the blue Matt, stuff. take your turn, damn it. I stab him with my fire dagger. With your fire dagger? Yes. Okay, so you're not going to use the demon fire. It isn't stronger than my fire dagger. Demon fire is a lot fi- is a lot stronger. How? You made- it's a D10 instead of a D4 of fire damage, and it doesn't stop. You've been making... Ro- I guess the fire... Because normal fire will only do it one turn. Demon fire will keep going. It's worse than poison. There is no con save to it. They have to heal themselves for it. There's... It will even burn in water. Okay, I use the fire... fire. I use the fire dagger then. The fire dagger? Yeah. Okay. I got a one. So you missed anyway. I don't see how it's going to do more damage when the other ones do more damage though. You use the fire dagger instead of the demon fire. Instead of the demon fire. A whole lot difference. You have a chance of eight on the fire dagger, and you have a chance of um, five two damage. Hmm? I have a chance of eight on the other one. Now I have a chance of five on the regular daggers, which have which do one d eight. So that's only a two damage change. Yes, but the fi- demon fire doesn't stop. After one turn, the fire damage is gone. After demon fire, it keeps going. It will go until the thing dies, okay. or until it's healed. That's what that. That's why it's demon fire, not normal fire. Okay. All right, Cassie, it's your turn since. What am I doing? I'm still trying to kill the idiot. Yes. Fourteen. Don't hit. All right, Noah, your turn. Just kill him, please. She gets a second attack. No, that one was up one time. Bite. Okay. Okay, just murder him. Dino's please. gonna bite. Look at that 19. It's an 18. Close enough. Well, 19. Yeah, it is a 19, because plus 10. Yep. So 19. Brace your AC. Please just roll damage. How much health do you have? One. Good. Please, hey, uh, hey, just roll more than one. I used Dimension There you go, five. Again. You did. Dimension All right, he is incapacitated. Yep. You your dinosaur bites onto him. You see his body go limp. You see his body go limp. The smoke comes out of his mouth and goes up. He's just laying there. Your dinosaur drops him on the ground. Dinosaur just magically disappears. Yep. Y'all all surround him now and ask, is he still alive? Did we just murder our, our friend? I see all of us cold. I'm gonna loot the body. My gold is in another dimension. You're unconscious, you bitch! 
Yeah. Can't do that. Why can't I? Because you didn't do it before. Who says it never was at the beginning? Oh, um, you said you it You can't was. retcon the DM story. Okay, then I'll just steal it all back later with my... Okay, well then do that later. Well then do that, but you have no idea that I did it. Why would you take all his gold? I don't know. I want to get rid of everything that I gave him from my session so I can... Tell Most him of this gold isn't off. from your session. I want to take away his mist skin, his stone skin, all that shit. You can't take away something that's attached to me. It isn't books anymore after learning. True. All right, so... I'm not my psionic character from my other D&D who can literally transcribe memory and then cut it. That would be neat. Oh, it is great neat. Literally to the point where I leveled it up to where I can literally rip all your memories out of your head and then uh-huh. cut to the point where you learned how to breathe and then snap that off. I'm going to just say... Nice. Be, yeah. yeah you will be like... But the like thing is, you don't learn months. to breathe. You don't no, learn to you breathe. will learn to breathe. It is instinctual. It's, you can, uh, you it's... can de-learn how to breathe. You can de-learn how to function. That's when you become brain dead. So if you release all the nerves and release all the memories and all the synapses that fire off in your brain, if you release all that and make it physical and then destroy all of it, that leaves the brain with nothing. It is completely inactive. It yes, is but dead. the thing is, breathing is actually involuntary action. We don't choose to do it. it just well, I can just happens. make him brain dead. Yeah, you can make him brain dead. That would stop it. Yes, yeah. you could. You could. Uh, Remove his ability to do involuntary actions, which is breathing, seeing, all that. So, are we going to order it, or are we going to pick it up, or what are we going to do without supper? No, oh, we're going to order it. So, um, he's laying there still unconscious on the ground. What do y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> all right, hold on. Let, let me just interact this on the table. <laughs> yep, there you go. It's... He's heavier than my mother. That's a surprise. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, we should have got that carrot. Gosh, we should have. <laughs> Is it waiter or DoorDash out here? I don't know. Uh, DoorDash. I just... <laughs> <laughs> I did it on the table, too. We really should have gotten that carrot. That carrot would have been perfect. Just hand it to Noah, and Noah just reached over to Matthew and go, poo, poo, right across the All place. right, so, um... I'm gonna... Oh, my God! Ah! I have to go get something. Jump on top of him, Noah. He, he can be your second victim. All right, so everybody will take a long rest at this point, then. Which means Matthew gets to not be inca- incapacitated. And that's where we're going to call this one. Until then, we all hope you all have enjoyed this session, and we will see you in the next time. Hopefully Alex will be here. Hopefully Josh won't skip out on Josh us. Josh is... I'm pretty sure he's not going to be coming back. Yeah. All right, until then, we, all, we hope to see you all in the next video. Y'all have a good day. Main point is, Joshua owes mom $380. More than that. No, he's been paying it off. And, oh, wait. You know our neighbor which he's been mowing? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he should be paying off any money because he's been... I've been having to go out there point out every single thing. Because, you know, when it's when the grass grows out, it gets darker green. Uh-huh. There was lines on lines and lines. And he says, oh, that's... He made him a stupid reason saying that it's cut. That's, that's how it's always looked like. Yeah, it's always looked like that because it wasn't cut before. It's how it looked like before. It shouldn't look like it how it's always looked yeah, like. So do you want what I get for dealing with his shit every single time he mows? Five dollars from weed eating. When he gets twenty each time. Uh, we pay you twenty to do all of it, and you get to keep it in your pocket. Until then, we hope everybody has enjoyed this. Hey, look, um, Fluffy's back. Off with his head. Off with fire. his head. Yes. And we will see you all. Don't you dare toot on me! We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Alright, so we can literally get food from, like, practically anywhere. Stop.